Well, hello there, and today I'm going to show you how to add surge protection to your extension at home using available materials. Mine here are recycled. I removed them from old electronics. This is what is known as a varista. A varista is a short form for a variable resistor, and this, when used correctly inside here, will make your extension have surge protection from high voltages from the main lines or even lightning protection so these are the symbols for a varista you, it can look like this or like this normally you connect it between the neutral and live of your extension and it will protect so varista is different from a fuse because a fuse protects your electronics from overcurrent protection but a varista protects from over voltage protection there's something called clamping voltage. Once the clamping voltage has been exceeded, this varista will tear down. It will create a shunt between the neutral and live. And this in turn will make the current become very high. And so the fuse over here might blow. So the, it does this so it protects all the electronics you had plugged in right here. So, let me show you where I got my varistas from. As you saw, I got my varistas from old electronics. Uh, so, this here is a power supply that I removed from my TV for me to show you. This is another varista. It should surely placed right at the entry of the mains voltage, but after the fuse. So, when the varista detects high voltage, as in when the clamping voltage is reached, it creates a short circuit between the live and neutral. This in turn makes the fuse blow, thus protecting your TV. So be careful where you get your varistas because I got mine from power supplies that had faults from the secondary side. This is the primary side that deals with high voltage and this is the secondary side. You can see the line between. This deals with low voltage. I removed varistas from power supplies that had blown in the secondary side but not the primary side so let me open up my extension and you can fix it as i explain more so we know we will solder this between the live and the neutral and forgive me i had written the opposite over here actually the live is supposed to be here and the neutral over here so between the live and neutral, live and neutral, live and neutral, live and neutral. I can use a number of devices, it's not a must, I use one. So these things, when they blow up, they usually blow up like the image I will show you next. So once they blow up, they usually make the fuse from the plug to blow up too. So this is how you calculate the clamping voltage. Now I have three types. Of varistas with me today this is SVC type and this is FNR type you can't see the text over here so I've just written it down the first two digits indicate the diameter like this one this is 10 millimeters the next one is the tolerance tolerance K means plus or minus 10 percent and the other three digits mean the clamping voltage which is written as the first two digits you just write them and the third digit is the power so this is 620 volts so once 620 volts is reached this this 
varista will create a shunt between the live and neutral and this will cause the fuse to blow protecting your devices same case over here the, the diameter is 14 millimeters you can see this is smaller than this one the case for tolerance again plus or minus 10 percent and 681 this is 68 times 10 to power 1 this is 680 volts so for the other svc type this is how you calculate the 14 at the end this one here this is the diameter this is 14 millimeter diameter and the other one is the value is the same just 62 times 10 to power 1 this is 620 volts so you see when lightning strikes you are your extension from the pole outside the voltage usually comes very high and these things usually work in microseconds in something between 8 to 20 mic microseconds so they are very good in protecting your devices so i'm just going to do a fast forward portion of me soldering this between the live and neutral So you might see some varistas have this cover on them. This this one is here is a rubber one. Also, this is a rubber. This is just to protect the other electronics in your device. When this thing they usually blow up with a big explosion. So to protect the flying fragments from damaging other electronic devices, they usually use a protective cover like this one or like this one. So the reason for the explosion is the heat, the rapid heat that is generated inside the varista as it tears down. So what would happen like right now, if this thing was connected to the mains electricity and lightning hit a pole through to my house, it will create a short circuit between the live and neutral. And this will make my plug fuse over here to blow up. This will in turn protect all my electronic devices that I had connected over here. So maybe I had connected my TV over here, my laptop over here, my Wi-Fi router over there, it will protect it. So thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned something today. Goodbye.